Hey guys, Log here, and more and more budget phones are coming out every day, and one of them is the Idol 3. So let's take a look. The most important thing in a budget phone is the price. The Idol 3 comes in at $250 for the 5.5 inch version and $180 for the 4.7 inch version. I have the 5.5 inch version here, so what does $250 get you? First off, you get an awesome screen. It's 1080p, which in my opinion is better than a 1440p screen. Battery life increases and the resolution difference is pretty much unnoticeable to me. The screen I feel was a lot better than that on the G4 because it was a lot cooler and more color accurate. It also gets a lot brighter than the G4 and it's a really good display. The display is definitely one of the strong points on the Idol 3. While it's not as robust and hefty compared to some other flagships, it's very lightweight. It doesn't feel super premium in the hand, and I would have much preferred a curved back for a more ergonomic feel in the hand. However, the phone still feels pretty nice in the hand, and it has a brushed metal back, but I have gone ahead and slapped a slick wrap skin to give it a super awesome carbon fiber look. It's also a pretty slim phone, so that's that. One thing that makes the phone stand out is the front-facing JBL speakers. They sound really good, and not just because they're front-facing. The quality is great, and it's really awesome experience watching a YouTube video or listening to music on the speakers. They also get pretty loud, and overall the speakers are one thing that makes the Idol 3 stand out from the crowd. Next is the camera. It's a 13 megapixel shooter, and it's okay. It's definitely not flagship quality, but it's decent for a $250 phone. I found that sometimes it does create great photos, and other times it really doesn't. The dynamic range isn't that great, but under the right condition, it will take pretty good shots. I also like that the camera doesn't protrude from the body of the phone. <coughs> Apple, I'm looking at you. But anyways, this phone doesn't really have a great camera, but it's also not a deal breaker. So next up is performance. Here's what I think. If you're coming from a flagship phone from this generation, you won't exactly be super happy. But if you came from another budget phone or no phone at all, you'll love the performance on this phone. Here's why. The phone doesn't lag or stutter, but what it does is it's just not as fast to do tasks like opening apps, loading apps, and playing YouTube videos and such. Compared to the G4, there's not a big difference, but if you've been using a faster phone for a long time before this, you'll notice it right away. With that being said though, most people who would buy a budget phone for $250 probably came from something slower, so this phone will definitely be a solid upgrade in terms of speed. Now I know I made the phone feel like it's super slow and laggy and stuttery, but no it's really not. It never once stuttered on me and the entire process of using this phone was really smooth. So even though I made it look like it's not up to par with flagships, it's still a very very good performance in terms of a budget phone. Finally there's battery life. Now the battery life on the phone is pretty good. Because this phone does not have a top of the line Snapdragon 810 processor, and rather it has a Snapdragon 615, it's way less power hungry and the battery capacity is pretty much on par with flagships at 2910 milliamps. It also has a 1080p display as opposed to a 1440p one, which extends battery life even further. It usually lasts a full day for me and I pretty much didn't have to charge it during the day. In conclusion, the Idol 3 is a great phone. If you didn't look at the specs or the price tag and you've never used a flagship, you'd probably think it's a top of the line phone. For $250, the only thing that's not on par with a high end phone is the camera and the overall speed that it operates at. Other than that, this phone competes with every other flagship on the market and if you're looking to buy a solid budget phone, this is definitely the one to get. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching this video, be sure to hit like as it really does help the channel out and subscribe for more videos like this. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.